Lu Sheng's sister called out from the first floor, telling Lu Sheng to wake up and come down for breakfast. As Lu Sheng got ready and approached the living room, he could already smell the tantalizing wafts of meaty aromas. Their mother had already prepared a feast on the dining table, hoping that the hearty meal would bless Lu Sheng with good results in his upcoming unified exam. His younger sister remarked that she would accompany Lu Sheng to the exam site as well. With a smile, Lu Sheng patted his sister's head, noting that it would be good for her to get a feel of the exam atmosphere so she wouldn't be too nervous when it was her turn. She pouted but didn't say anything. They quickly finished breakfast, and as they prepared to leave, their mother reminded Lu Sheng not to be too anxious and to do his best. The sound of a car beeping echoed from outside, and turning around, they saw their father, radiating excitement from his car, waving energetically at Lu Sheng. Today, with Lu Sheng taking his unified exam, it seemed the whole family was involved in the momentous occasion. Once the siblings were in the car, their father cheerfully drove out of the residential complex. Though he knew how to drive, he had always ridden a bicycle to save money. Lu Sheng recently bought him a car, and while Lu Sheng had wanted to buy a more luxurious one, his father had insisted on a more modest choice. It wasn't an expensive car, but to their father, it was a treasure. Inside the car, their father jovially said to Lu Sheng, Whether their Lu family can produce a top martial scholar depends on Lu Sheng now. Lu Qing immediately piped up, protesting, asking what about her. Their father laughed, replying, Little girl, your turn is still a ways off. The trio chatted and laughed as they headed towards the exam site, finally stopping at the city martial arts center. The entrance, usually empty, was bustling today, filled with anxious parents and exam-taking students, not to mention numerous cars parked along the roadside. Activating his psychic power, Lu Sheng could hear the voices of concerned parents speaking with their children. Do you need water? How about the toilet? Good luck with your exams. Don't be nervous. Did you remember to bring your ID? Lu Sheng looked at this group of young exam takers. It had been a long time since he had lived a life like an ordinary high school student. Now, he was about to experience what every high school student goes through, taking the unified exam. Their dad gazed at the martial arts center, reminiscing. Back in his day, he also took the unified exam here. Unfortunately, his talent wasn't up to par, and the required supplement regimen was too much for him. He ended up just making a simple appearance before getting weeded out. Turning back to face Lu Sheng, his dad's eyes were filled with pride, telling Lu Sheng that he is a hundred times stronger than his old man. He won't say much else. Telling Lu Sheng, just give it all and don't let any regrets get to him. Lu Sheng replied earnestly, he understood. Lu Qing also encouraged her brother, Oni Chan, do your best. Dad and I will wait for you outside. Lu Sheng smiled, then bid farewell to the two of them and headed alone to the entrance of the martial arts center. He joined the queue to check IDs and was given a number. Once past the yellow line, tens of thousands of students surged towards the entrance. Behind him, countless eyes filled with anticipation watched. The annual Grand Martial Arts Unified Examination was finally underway. Lu Sheng could tell that the examinees around him were all quite nervous. The White Lake City Martial Arts Center, capable of accommodating over a hundred thousand people, was now partitioned into numerous individual small rooms. Inside each of these rooms stood a device to measure one's blood energy level, as well as another device to gauge one's combat strength. Long queues had already formed as students began to line up. Each testing room had three supervisors. One was responsible for measuring the blood energy levels, another gauged the combat strength, and a third stood at the door, ensuring order and managing the entrance of the examinees. Each student had a designated number. As a group was being called in by one of the supervisors, one of the supervisors suddenly walked towards where Lu Sheng stood, frowning, wondering, what's going on here? Why can't the students line up properly? He had been observing this area for a while and noticed a peculiar scene. The front and back of the line were densely packed with students, but there was an odd gap right in the middle. The supervisor motioned for Lu Sheng to move forward, and Lu Sheng complied. He then gestured for a chubby boy behind Lu Sheng to advance as well. The chubby boy, beads of sweat forming on his forehead, said it's not that he doesn't want to move forward, but whenever he gets close to this guy, 
He then pointed to Lu Sheng, saying he inexplicably felt so nervous that his legs start trembling. He was fine when he first entered, but now, the closer he gets to Lu Sheng, the more anxious he becomes. The supervisor's brows furrowed. Turning to observe the students lined up in front of Lu Sheng, he noticed they were now desperately pushing forward, as if they were being pricked from behind. Only then did the supervisor focus on Lu Sheng. A cursory glance wouldn't reveal anything amiss, but a closer look made the supervisor's heart skip a beat. It was no wonder that the students both in front of and behind Lu Sheng were reluctant to come close to him. Lu Sheng exuded an imposing aura, like an intangible force field surrounding him. It was so overpowering that people nearby instinctively wanted to distance themselves from him. At this moment, even the supervisor standing next to Lu Sheng felt an eerie tingling on his scalp, and the hair on his arms stood on end. The supervisor was well aware that such a presence is the result of a martial artist's blood energy level concentration, reaching a such high level that it radiates outwards. While the supervisor had encountered such situations before, witnessing this from an 18-year-old high school student was a rare sight. The supervisor decided to have Lu Sheng enter the testing room first, instructing the others to line up behind. Grateful for the chance to be away from Lu Sheng, the other students quickly scattered, eager to distance themselves from this monster. Lu Sheng resignedly and made his way to the testing room. As soon as he entered, he overheard a young man protesting loudly that he hadn't taken any prohibited substances and that he'd only consumed chicken soup brewed by his uncle which his uncle claimed was beneficial for the exam. But the supervisor wasn't convinced and took him away. Another supervisor coldly swept his gaze over every student present, warning that he had said this once and wouldn't repeat this again. If anyone has consumed anything they shouldn't have in the past few days, they may leave now. The supervisor will consider it as an absence, and it won't affect their chance to take the unified exam next year. The young boy being pulled out of the exam site still protesting, that young man would undoubtedly resent his uncle for a long time. The supervisor continued, shaking his head. These cheaters will likely never make it into a martial arts university. No institution will admit a student with a record of dishonesty. When it was finally Lu Sheng's turn, an intense and palpable aura emanated from him, immediately making the atmosphere in the room heavy. The two supervisors' faces went pale, and the one closest to Lu Sheng involuntarily took several steps back, feeling overwhelmed by the intensity. It was shocking to see two fifth-level martial arts supervisors react this way, their bodies trembling and instinctively retreating from Lu Sheng. The supervisor responsible for testing blood energy levels doing his best to suppress his unease from the powerful aura Lu Sheng emitted, approached with a needle to extract a blood sample. As the supervisor was about to open the packet, Lu Sheng voiced out, That needle won't pierce his skin. The supervisor halted his action, eyes widening in disbelief. Looking intently at Lu Sheng, the supervisor nodded and fetched a higher grade needle from his drawer. Lu Sheng didn't think these would be any use either. He grabbed a handful and fiercely jabbed them into his hand. To everyone's astonishment, the needles bent without piercing his skin. With no other immediate solution, the supervisors decided to proceed with testing Lu Sheng's combat strength first. Meanwhile, they'd search for an even more advanced needle for the blood test. A blonde-haired girl was undergoing her test. Walking up to the combat strength testing dummy, she gave it her all with a punch. With joy, she saw her combat strength surpass the 100 mark, giving her hope to attend Dongning Marshall University. Then, it was Lu Sheng's turn. The staff member, surprised to see a supervisor personally escorting a student, reminded the supervisor that Lu Sheng's blood energy value hadn't been recorded yet. The supervisor whispered something into the staff member's ear, leaving the staff member in disbelief. The supervisor glanced at the nearby testing dummy, questioning if they needed to upgrade to a more advanced one. The staff, although shocked, informed the supervisor that the current machine was the most advanced one available for the unified exam with a maximum combat strength limit of 990,000. Thus, even facing a level 6 martial artist would have no issue. The staff member chuckled, saying this boy can't be a grand master, right? The supervisor regained his composure. He thought he probably had been overthinking. He then called out Lu Sheng's name. 
As Lu Shang moved closer, an overwhelming and scorching aura radiated from him. The supervisor and the staff member felt a momentary lapse in their confidence, as if they had misjudged something. But then, watching Lu Sheng introduce himself and politely greet everyone, the staff member relaxed slightly. Lu Sheng stood in front of the combat strength machine and took a deep breath. It was like molten lava flowing beneath a layer of ice. Seeing Lu Sheng taking a long time, the staff member timidly asked if Lu Sheng was ready. Lu Sheng took a deep breath channeling his psychic power, switching to the flame-breathing technique, the divine Pluto technique to amplify his blood energy level. The supervisor's pupils contracted sharply as if seeing something in Lu Sheng's reflection. Both of them watched, unable to believe that this was just a high school student taking the unified exam. Finally, Lu Sheng unleashed his ultimate move. First, it's the first stage of the perfect martial path, then activated twentyfold of the stellar force. Lastly, the Grand Master Technique. Ten suns in the sky. Combining all his power, Lu Sheng aimed for his strongest strike. With a punch, boom! The entire stadium quivered. Let's roll back time to five minutes earlier. At the top floor of the Martial Arts Center, Chairman Yao, feeling calm and collected, looked at his opponent across the chessboard, a chubby, middle-aged man in his casual attire. Chairman smiled and said, Checkmate. Chairman Yao is in charge of the White Lake City Unified Exam this year and is also the chairman of a nearby city martial artists association. To prevent cheating, a different martial arts association chairman was invited to oversee the unified exam. The chubby man, Director Liu of White Lake City's Education Bureau, stared at the board, perplexed, then chuckled. This is his seventh time losing today, Chairman Yao replied with a light smile. It's only because Director Liu let him win. How could a mere martial artist like him know anything about chess? Just then, someone burst into the office without even knocking. It was Chairman Yao's secretary, looking frantic. Chairman Yao scolded. Can't you see I am meeting a guest? What's the emergency? The secretary stammered, explaining that a White Lake City examinee had broken the needle used for testing blood energy level, and the supervisor wanted to request even more advanced needles. Chairman Yao frowned, questioning isn't there already high-grade needles across all exam sites. If it breaks, then just give them another one. There was no point in reporting this to him. The secretary hesitated, then added that the needle the student broke was the high-grade. The atmosphere in the room became tense as the implications of this information settled in. In Chairman Yao's hand, a chess piece was crushed into fragments. Director Liu, who had been silently listening beside him, showed a great expression of surprise on his face. Was the high-grade blood extraction needle broken by a student? He stood up and instructed his secretary, telling her to get the advanced-grade blood extraction needle. Also, get him a copy of that examinee's record. The secretary, having already prepared, handed over the paperwork. As Chairman Yao read through it, he looked up at Director Liu, whose face was now beaming with delight, and said with a wry smile, Congratulations, Director Liu. Despite Director Liu's modest words, his face was brimming with joy. Both of them understood the significance of breaking a high-grade blood extraction needle. It means this student is likely qualified for the provincial top martial arts scorer, potentially even on the national level. Looking at the record, 18 years old, above fourth-level martial artist, Chairman Yao felt increasingly overwhelmed. Director Liu chuckled. He smiled brightly, clutching his round belly. Chairman Yao sensed something from the conversation, and it seems that Director Liu was not surprised at all. Director Liu took a step forward and said mysteriously, asking if Chairman Yao was aware of the military star selection held by the Eastern Military District every year. Chairman Yao nodded, then suddenly realized something. Could be that this year's military star is from White Lake City. Director Liu's smile became even more radiant. For the first time, Chairman Yao seemed genuinely taken aback. Of course, he was aware of the military star selection. Every year, Dongning Province held a prodigy training camp specifically for this selection process. However, the quality of the prodigies from his own city was lackluster this year. They were eliminated early in the training camp. As a result, Chairman Yao hadn't paid much attention to the subsequent military star selection, 
and was even unaware of which city's prodigy had triumphed. The two shared a mutual chuckle, saying, this isn't just qualifying to challenge for the provincial top martial scholar. This is practically securing the title and aiming straight for the national martial scholar. A sense of awe washed over Chairman Yao's face, and in his eyes, a touch of envy when he looked at Director Liu. He had always wished to encounter such a high-caliber martial arts prodigy in his lifetime. Now that he had the chance to meet one in person, he wouldn't miss this opportunity. The two nodded in agreement and headed toward the exam sites on the lower floors. Suddenly, a deafening noise erupted from the center. It sounded as if something had exploded inside. It also felt like an earthquake. Chairman Yao's gaze turned toward the direction of the blast. Wasn't that the combat strength exam site? What on earth had happened there? Full of suspicion, Chairman Yao, along with Director Liu, who had hurried over, both ran towards the exam site. The supervisor and staff member inside the room were jolted by the massive sound. Then they saw a wave of energy radiating from the point where Lu Sheng's fist had struck. The display of the testing dummy showed no value, and the machine emitted a strained, creaking sound before shattering completely. The staff member, responsible for testing combat strength, stood dumbfounded with his mouth agape and eyes bulging. The equipment in front of them had a testing limit as high as 990,000 capable of measuring the combat strength of peak level 6 martial artists. Yet now, it was destroyed by a single punch. Chairman Yao, with a grave expression, stepped inside the room and questioned, What happened? Recognizing Chairman Yao, the supervisor hastily tried to explain. But before they could speak, Chairman Yao's gaze had already landed on the side of the room. There lay the machine, emitting smoke and looking like scrap metal. And there was the calm young man, standing in front of the shattered device, turning halfway to look back at him. A staff member came over, sobbing, pointing at Lu Sheng, and exclaimed, He's a grandmaster! Chairman Yao quickly directed the supervisors to evacuate the other examinees, asking the students waiting outside to be patient for a while longer. Following that, he ordered his secretary and the supervisor to urgently bring the master-level combat strength testing dummy from the Martial Arts Association, emphasizing that they needed to be as fast as possible. After seeing them quickly leaving the testing site, Chairman Yao then thought to himself, This young man is truly extraordinary. Director Liu was the first to break the silence. Smiling gently at Lu Sheng, he told Lu Sheng to not worry about the machine breaking, telling Lu Sheng to sit down and rest for a bit. The new equipment will arrive shortly. Chairman Yao gazed intently at Lu Sheng, his eyes filled with countless thoughts. Even from a distance, he could distinctly feel the overwhelming aura emanating from Lu Sheng. It was truly unbelievable. As the chairman of a martial art association, and at the peak of sixth-level martial artist. He actually felt a hint of trepidation towards an 18-year-old student. Although Chairman Yao was certain Lu Sheng was above sixth-level martial artist, he still wanted to verify it first. Time seemed to slow down. Everyone sat and waited. The supervisor rushed back into the room, dragging a large box, and with the help of several people, they finally finished setting up the combat strength-testing dummy. Chairman Yao took out an advanced grade blood energy testing needle, ready to test Lu Sheng's blood energy level. As the needle gently pricked Lu Sheng's fingertip, a drop of red blood fused with a golden hue came out. This scene plunges the room into a breathtaking silence once more. The first to react was Chairman Yao. He stared at the droplet of blood. The blood was so dense, and it clung to the needle, resembling a radiant red pearl solidified yet undispersed. Y'all sure this isn't hyperviscosity? Anyway, back to the story. Blood of a grandmaster? The thought flashed through Chairman Yao's mind, but he immediately shook his head. Chairman Yao had once personally seen the blood of a grandmaster. It was a genuine much more solidified, not only dense, but also possessed a potent power that far exceeded the drop before him. He was confident that Lu Sheng hadn't yet reached the level of grandmaster. However, it was evident that Lu Sheng was not far away. At the very least, Chairman Yao knew Lu Sheng had greatly surpassed him. The blood sample was then transferred into a machine after scanning Lu Sheng's blood sample. In a short while, a numerical value flashed on the screen. 
1,233.56. This was Liu Sheng's blood energy level. Upon seeing this number, Director Liu abruptly leaned forward, almost jumping up, his eyes locked onto the screen. A mixture of astonishment and elation painted his face, as he could barely believe his eyes. The blood energy value had actually reached over 1,200. This was the result of a sixth-level martial artist. In the history of unified exams in White Lake City, even in the entire Dongning province, they've never seen a blood energy value this high. Director Liu's voice trembled as he spoke. Chairman Yao looked at Liu Sheng with a pleased expression, laughing. As the old saying goes, heroes emerge in their youth. Complimenting Liu Sheng breaking the blood energy value record for the unified exam in the Dongning province. The supervisors in the room were too stunned to speak. With such a score, how could it not shatter the provincial record? A mere 18-year-old, sixth-level martial artist. However, Liu Sheng seemed unsurprised by his result. In contrast, the supervisor thought to himself, judging by his calm demeanor, this young man must have got more in him. Soon, it was time to test Liu Sheng's combat strength. The supervisor in charge of the testing promptly stepped forward, signaling for Liu Sheng to move beside the combat strength testing dummy. This freshly delivered Grandmaster level combat strength testing dummy had been specially borrowed from White Lake City's Martial Arts Association. The machine, gleaming and pristine, was not only advanced but also brand new. After a brief calibration, Chairman Yao gestured for Liu Sheng to begin the test. However, a hint of irony bubbled up in Chairman Yao's thoughts. In the entirety of White Lake City, the number of individuals genuinely in need of this advanced testing dummy was minimal. It's been so long since the last time a Grandmaster appeared in the White Lake City. And now, this piece of equipment was being utilized for a student, undergoing his unified exam. Chairman Yao felt at a loss for words, a medley of emotions swirling within him. Regarding this situation, he genuinely didn't know how to describe his feelings. Lu Sheng stood quietly in front of the testing dummy, taking a deep breath. Every cell in his body seemed to suddenly awaken. He once again unleashed his full power, every inch of his muscles, and every drop of blood seemed to be filled with immense power. All of a sudden, he burst forth with full force. Flame breathing technique, twenty fold stellar technique, grandmaster technique, ten suns in the sky, producing an astonishing wave of energy that rippled outwards. Director Liu and the supervisor were pushed back by the powerful surge of energy as if they were helpless lambs unable to stand in the face of a massive storm. Chairman Yao, however, stood firm like a mountain, but his clothes danced wildly in the wind. His gaze focused intently on Liu Sheng. Unable to conceal his astonishment, he slowly said, This, this is the will of a Grand Master. What he had pursued fervently for years now manifested in a young man. No words can explain how Chairman Yao is feeling. Although Director Liu wasn't a high-level martial artist himself, he understood the significance of having the will of a grandmaster. This ensures the young man in front of them will eventually become a seventh-level grandmaster. Liu Sheng's future was undoubtedly bright. This time, the testing dummy did not break apart. However, a large dent was clearly visible on the testing dummy. After the surge of energy dissipated, all eyes were fixed on the screen. The numbers on the screen fluctuated before finally settling at 1.26 million combat strength. The room was so quiet that you could hear a pin drop. Chairman Yao was completely at a loss for words. Liu Sheng possessed a blood energy level comparable to that of a Grandmaster, the will of a Grandmaster, and even his combat strength had reached the Grandmaster level. Even if he was slightly off on his blood energy level, he undoubtedly deserved the title of Quasi Grandmaster. An 18-year-young quasi-grandmaster, can you believe it? Only Chairman Yao, with a complicated expression, gazed at Liu Sheng who stood with his fists retracted. Suddenly, as if recalling something, he asked Liu Sheng, Why didn't you use your inner force? Director Liu also noticed this and posed the same question. Liu Sheng shook his head, and a golden light appeared in his hand, which quickly faded. He said he hadn't reached the fifth level yet. The two men stared at Lu Sheng in disbelief. Lu Sheng's words were as calm as water, but they sounded like thunderclaps in their ears. Without even reaching the fifth level, 
Lu Shang had displayed the combat strength of a grandmaster. What would it be like if he truly stepped into the realm of a grandmaster? After a moment of silence, Chairman Yao turned to Director Liu and congratulated him once again. The White Lake City had just emerged as a real prodigy. Director Liu's lips trembled as if his eyes were sparkling. He knew that this young man from his White Lake City was about to ascend to greatness. Director Liu swiftly turned around, urgently instructing the supervisor to notify Chairman Xiao and the Eastern Military District about this news. Outside the Martial Arts Center, Liu Sheng watched the other students, displaying a range of emotions. Some were despondent, some were in shock, some were excited, and others were fervent. Lu Sheng's dad and his sister approached him quickly, curiously asking, how did the exam go? Lu Sheng smiled slightly and responded saying it was better than he expected. Lu Qing's eyes sparkled, saying she hoped Lu Sheng would become the top provincial martial arts scholar this time. The trio joyfully took a commemorative photo of Lu Sheng's unified exam before heading home. When the trio returned home, it was just in time for dinner. After eating, Lu Sheng entered his dream realm once again. He checked his personal info once again, and this time there were some changes. At the age of 18, he won the Eastern Military District's Military Star Selection, and in the same year, with the top unified exam scores in the country, he got into the Divine Marshall University in the Royal Capital. At age 32, he advanced to the 7th level Grandmaster level. By age 54, he became the 8th level Great Grandmaster. At age 60, Lu Sheng was recognized as one of the four generals of the Eastern Military District. Living a life full of military achievements, he ultimately died in the martial year 477 at the age of 181. Lu Sheng's personal historical rating received a high rating of 4.5 stars, granting him access to a level 4 fire seed resource bank. Lu Sheng was mildly shocked. He had finally reached the level of an 8th level great grandmaster in his lifetime. However, when he looked at the spouse column, he nearly fainted. Contrary to his assumptions, the names in this column didn't decrease but increased by another three, totaling five wives. He waved it off, considering it just being a joke. Having reached the Great Grandmaster level and gaining access to the four-star fire seed meant he could now unlock the advanced techniques of the three major 11th level martial arts. In the world of martial arts, strong martial techniques are essential for reaching the pinnacle. When the three 11th level martial arts were revealed before Lu Sheng, he felt an unprecedented joy. First was the stellar body enhancing technique, also unlocking the second stage cultivation method for the golden body technique, as well as the advanced chapters of the natural breathing technique and crystal meditation technique. Armed with these three level 11 martial art techniques would surely elevate Lu Sheng's martial arts journey to the next level. Lu Sheng already has the will of a grandmaster. As long as he elevates his blood energy level, he will surely ascend to the rank of a great grandmaster. However, this path wasn't going to be smooth. Lu Sheng was well aware that even when practicing the same technique, every individual's understanding and martial arts path could vary. He learned the Ten Suns in the Sky Technique from Shi Sheng Ning, while the Stellar Body Enhancing Technique originated from the top 11 8th level martial artist, Wang He. The core and essence of their martial paths must undoubtedly differ. But Lu Sheng wasn't confined by this. He firmly believed that every martial art technique is a path to the ultimate truth. He aimed to synthesize and integrate all, discovering a martial path truly belonging to him. Taking a deep sigh, Lu Sheng's gaze became even more determined. He wasn't content with just being a great grandmaster. His goal was to surpass all 11 the level martial artists ascend to the twelfth level, and even reach higher peaks. Only by standing at such an unparalleled height can one truly rewrite history and reshape the face of the world. And this was Lu Sheng's ultimate pursuit.